Okay guys, so today we are going to just do a quick workflow on red footage. Um, with the release of the Raven and the Scarlet W, Premiere hasn't updated their firmware yet to accept the red code, so you need to transcode it through Red Cinex Pro and then import it into Premiere. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to your internet browser um, and you're gonna go to Red's website under the support section, you're gonna hit downloads, and then you're gonna go over to software, and then you're gonna download this Red Cinex Pro right here. Uh, just agree to the terms and download it. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Once you have that downloaded, you'll open it up, and this will be the screen that you get. Uh, what you wanna do is to navigate through your hard drives to wherever the files that you have saved. I have this up here. Um, once you get that done, you can select all of your clips that you want to export out and drag them down here into your project. Then you can start editing them. So let's double click. You can bring this up and you can adjust your color temperature, all of your raw settings. Um, and you make sure you want to do this exactly how you want it because once you get it into Premiere, it won't be in raw form anymore. You'll have only a ProRes file. <clears throat> Um, so once you get this all set up and you like the way it looks, you got all your colors, your saturation, your exposure, all of that exactly how you want it, you will go into the, on, on all of your clips, you'll go into your export. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go file, export, or command E. That's going to bring up this window here, and this is where you set up how you want your output. So you can do... JPEG video um, or JPEG sequences, QuickTime, Apple ProRes, however you want to do it. Uh, I'm just going to do Apple ProRes. Then you're going to go and you're going to do your output location. So you're going to say exactly where you want it. I've just created a file that's the Raven ProRes exports. Um, and then what you can do is let me just close out of that just hit export and then it's going to start exporting all of them to that file. Um, you can see I already did it with all these clips. So once it's exported, you're going to go into Premiere and then you're going to go to your media browser and navigate again to where that new folder is where all of your ProRes exports are. What you're going to do is right click on the top level so you can see all the subfolders under here that have all the different clips. You're going to click on your top level folder and you're going to hit import. That's going to bring in in a new bin, and there you'll have all your ProRes files that you can now go through and and edit. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you deal with red footage, and then you'll just edit it in your timeline like you would with anything else. Uh, once it's able to support red code, then you can take it directly from the card or the hard drive or wherever you're storing it, drop it in. Uh, which is what you can do with like dragon footage, epic footage, um, and some of the older stuff. I uh, hope this helps, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks, bye.